Hi, I'm Larry French and this is Sonny. We're going to talk a little bit about evaluating your horse before you get on. I've already done all my groundwork and stuff like that, but now I'm fixing to get on and, and I still want to just do a quick check. So what I do is I, I stand back. I like that my horse is standing still. He's not moving. And uh, you'll see that hind leg there kind of hiked up. Uh, I'm looking at his eyes. He seems pretty calm. Uh, his head's down. It's not up. If your horse's head is up, then that's telling you that he's pretty intense. He's, he's not feeling comfortable with uh, all of this. Or maybe uh, something that's not fitting him right in the saddle. Those are things to always look out for and, and remember, especially the high head. I see too many people getting on their horses with a high head. Horse takes off or spooks or freaks out because that means that uh, that they aren't certain about the situation and, 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 and frightened. So I like checking his neck. Uh, first I like to check the pole, seeing what kind of softness that I have right here and that was pretty soft and then the next thing I want to look at the neck and you can see how he stays here so he's okay with it he understands the purpose of it and then I'm just going to ask for a little bend right here now that was really soft you didn't see any tightness in the rein you didn't see his teeth or or getting upset and then I'll just walk through here I've already done the shoulders uh, in the groundwork, uh, the belly looks good, everything looks soft, the hind quarters looks good, and then I'll turn around and I'll check again and look down through there. Look at the eye. I can see now that I've got his attention. He knows that we're fixing a ride here in a second, so he's getting mentally prepared. Too many times we start our horses and they aren't in the right state or either they aren't yet mentally repaired. Now I do the same thing on the other side and I think he's ready to get on. God gave us this passion so let's live it.